Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So let's keep going. It's our second exercise. Well, we have a, a, an example. Mithal, it means example. Mithalun. Aina qalamuka ya abi. Where is your pen? O oh, my father. Aina qalamuki ya ummi. This time we are talking to a woman. Therefore, it's key. The possessive pronoun differs from the previous one because in this sentence we are referring to a man, qalamuka, and this sentence we are referring to a woman, qalamuki. So we need to do the same with all these sentences. We need to uh, to change this part of the sentence from masculine to feminine. عِنْدَكَ قَلَمٌ يَا مُحَمَّدُ Well, it's already been changed. So all we need to do is to change this part of the sentence. عِنْدَكَ قَلَمٌ يَا مُحَمَّدُ أَعِنْدَكِ So we change the possessive pronoun. عِنْدَكِ قَلَمٌ يَا آمِنَةُ أَيْنَ So let's, let me zoom in. أَيْنَ بَيْتُكَ Ya Ustadi, where is your home or where is your house? Oh, my teacher or my Ustad. And here we have Ustadati. <laughs> Ustadati is a, a female teacher. So, Aina Baituki, Ya Ustadati. So, all we need to do is, is to change this possessive pronoun from ka to ki. And that's it. It's quite easy. Ahaza daftaru laka ya aliyun ya aliyu ya aliyu. This particle, uh, because of this particle, aliyu uh, loses its tanwin. Ya aliyu. That's how we say it. This rule came over in the third lesson, if I'm not mistaken, or in the second. So, أَهَذَا الدَّفْتَرُ لَاكِ يَا فَاطِمَةُ mm -hmm, That's how it is. مِنْ أَيْنَ أَنْتَ يَا أَخِي Where are you from, my brother? مِنْ أَيْنَ أَنْتِ يَا أُخْتِي أَنْتَ It's for masculine singular. أَنْتِ It's for feminine singular. You. أَيْنَ أَبُوكَ يَا خَالِدُ Aina abuki ya khadijatu. A anta maridun ya khali. Are you sick? Oh my, oh my uncle. And again, khalun. Uh, it means an uncle from mother's side, not from father's side. A uh, anti. Maridatun ya khalati a anti because we uh, we are referring to a woman and uh, it's for fe for masculine and anti for feminine therefore a anti maridatun we need to add this tamarbuta because maridat maridatun refers to khalati and she's feminine and therefore its quality is supposed to be also feminine. So, a anti mari botun ya khalati. Aina, oops, what happened? Aina bintuka ya ammi. Where is your daughter or my uncle? Uncle from my, from you, uh, ammun, an uncle from father's side. Aina. Bintuki ya ammati. Where's your daughter? Uh, oh, my aunt. Mm -hmm. Ammun. Uncle, ammatun, with tamarbuta, aunt. Just like khalun. Uncle, and khalatun, with tamarbuta. Mm. Well, it means aunt. But in this case, it's from mother's side. Alaka akhun ya hamid. Do you have a brother? Oh, Hamid. Ya Hamidu. Alaki. Akhun. 
Ya Suadu. Do you have a brother? Oh Suad, lucky. A masculine possessive pronoun and lucky, key. Uh, a feminine possessive pronoun. Maza indaka ya akhi. What do you have, oh my brother? Maza indaki ya ukhti. What do you have, oh my sister? Assalamu alayka ya abi. Well, this, <laughs> uh, this question, questionable mark. It's not supposed to be here. It doesn't make sense. So again, that's a mistake. The, uh, there is supposed to be a dot. Like, Assalamu alayka ya abi. Or, Assalamu alayki ya ummi. Mm -hmm, that's it. So, uh, in, the third in the third exercise, again, we have an example. Like, a mithalun. خرج محمد من الب من البيت and then this uh, this ex this sentence is turned into feminine خرجت آمنة من ال من البيت خرج he went out خرجت she went out ذهب ذهل ذهب المدرس إلى الفصل uh, the teacher went to the class and here we need to say ذهبت we need to add this تا with سكون because what we imply we imply a woman ذهبت المدرسة with تا مربوطة because again we imply a woman a female teacher uh, إلى الفصل ذهبت المدرسة إلى الفصل but again, when we pronounce it in uh, like without making pauses, we say "ذهبتيل مدرسة ذهبتيل." Just like here, "ذهبتيل مدرسة," because "تا" with "سكون" is followed by alif lam, and to make the pronunciation easier, we change the "سكون." to kasra dhahabatil bintu but th the foundation of this dhahabat is that it had sukun in the end but again just to make the pronunciation easier we say dhahabatil bintu so dhahabatil mudarrisatu ila al fasl dhahaba abi ila al mustashfa my father went to the hospital and ذهبت أمي ذهبت أمي إلى المستشفى. There is no need to change this ذهبت this سكون to كسرة because أمي doesn't have alif lam. As it says here, if it's followed by alif lam, but أم أمي doesn't have alif lam. So ذهبت أمي إلى المستشفى. جلس الطالب في الفصل. The student sat down in the class. Mm -hmm. And here we say Jalasati Talibatu Jalasati Talibatu Fil Fasli. I think it's clear. Jalasati Talibatu. A Talibatu has Alif Lam and Ta uh, takes Kasra in the end. Khoraja Ahi Min Al Baiti. خرجت أختي من البيت. And here we have uh, well تأمل ما يلي just uh, think it over or think it through. جلست الطالبة. We say جلست الطالبة this سكون uh, switches to كسرة. That's what we are talking in this sentence. So it's it's uh, it's the same. You already know this. So again, if it if it's followed by alif lam, it takes kasra. So that's the rule. And again, to make things easier, to make the pronunciation easier, that's the goal. Iqra il jumal al So we need to read these sentences, and that's it.
Just read it. مَلْ فَتَى الَّذِي خَرَجَ مِنْ بَيْتِكَ الْآنْ Who's the young man who went out from your house now? هو ابن عمي He's the son of my uncle. In this sentence, we have we have التي instead of الذي because this التي goes back to الفتاة and الفتاة she is feminine. Therefore, we say التي because التي for masculine singular and التي for feminine singular. من الفتاة التي خرجت من من بيتك الآن يا محمد هي بنت خالتي. Well, I think it's uh, it's a bit hard for you to to pronounce these sentences uh, without making pause in the beginning. Therefore, you have to read it twice, three times, four times, five times until it's easy for you to pronounce uh, the whole sentence without making pauses. Like this one, like this. من الفتاة التي خرجت من بيتك الآن يا محمد هي بنت خالتي mm -hmm, That's how it is Who is a young woman or who is a young girl that went out from your house now O oh, Muhammad And he says uh, she is a daughter or she is the daughter she is a daughter of my uncle لمن ال لمن المفتاح الذي على المكتب؟ whom does the key which is on the table belong to? whom does the key which is on the table belong to? this li means belong belong to. هو للمدرس it belongs to the teacher لمن الساعة التي على السرير whom does the watch that are on the table or on the bed سرير on the bed belong to هي لزوج لزوج أختي she is for or she is uh, سبحانك اللهم uh, it belongs to uh, the husband of my sister. To the husband of my sister. And here we have the sixth exercise. It's a, 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 we need just to make these uh, sentences complete using alladhi or allati, depending on depending on uh, to what it refers to. For example. Uh, here we have القلم or no 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 that's the first sentence here we have الكتاب uh, كتاب is masculine because it doesn't have tamar but in the end therefore we have to use الذي الكتاب الذي على المكتب للمدرس القلم قلم it's also masculine therefore we say القلم الذي في حقيبتي مكسور مكسور broken so the pen that is uh, in my bag is broken السيارة التي السيارة has tamar but in the end therefore we say uh, التي because التي is used when we, when it goes back to feminine you already know that perfectly well خرجت من المستشفى الآن للطبيب uh, للطبيب الجديد uh, the car that is went out from the hospital just now belongs to the new doctor الكلب الذي في الحديقة مريض الكلب is masculine therefore we say الذي في الحديقة مريض الفتاة 
a young man الذي because it's a young man خرج من المسجد الآن ابن ابن المؤذن if you make a pause here خرج من المسجد oh, not here but uh, here خرج من المسجد الآن ابن المؤذن there is no need to remove this alif in the pronunciation if you make a pause الفتى الذي خرج من المسجد الآن ابن المؤذن but if you don't make this pause we are supposed to say الفتى الذي خرج من المسجد الآن ابن المؤذن because it's حمزة الوصل تلك البطة التي تحت الشجرة البطة الدك it has tamar boot in the end, therefore it's feminine. And we say التي تلك البطة التي تحت الشجرة that duck which is under the tree belongs to uh, to a daughter of the farmer. To the daughter of the farmer. To the daughter of the farmer. البيت الجديد الذي في ذلك الشارع للوزير. So the new house that is uh, that is on that street belongs to uh, the minister to the minister وزير minister. الدرس الدرس Masculine, therefore we say الدرس الذي بعد هذا الدرس سهل جدا من الفتاة فتاة is feminine young lady من الفتاة التي جلست أمام المدرسة هي طالبة ماليزيا uh, who's that young lady uh, who sat in front of the teacher? She's a student from Malaysia. In the last sentence, Atilka al Hakibatu. Hakibatu back. So, uh, is. Uh, does that. Does uh, that back, which is under the table belong to you ya khalid atilik al haqibah allati tahta al maktab laka ya khalid la hiya li sadiqi muhammad no it belongs to my friend muhammad so yeah that's it for this lesson we have new words well we have this vocabulary in the end of this book of uh, of this explanation book you can look up uh, the translation of of the new words in this in this area and so that's it for this lesson and inshallah will be i will be waiting for you on the 13th lesson assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh